The John Warnell House is a striking figure standing along Warnell Road. In fact, the house itself is one of the biggest reasons the road is named after Warnell. However, before the current house stood, John's family lived a little differently. The first house on the Warnell farm was a small log cabin built in 1837. Richard, John's father, bought 500 acres of land, the house, and a slave for $5 an acre when they first moved to Missouri. In today's money, all that cost around $70,000. At the time, their farm was right on the edge of the map. Take one step over their property line, and you are no longer in the United States of America. The farm stretched from present-day 59th to 67th, and Brookside to State Line Road. The original barn stood around the corner of 63rd and Brookside. The current house finished construction in 1858, four years after Warnell married his second wife, Eliza. Limestone from the property built the foundation and all but one of the fireplaces in the house. Local clay made the bricks of the house, and sand from the Missouri River is in the mortar holding the bricks together. The house probably cost around $4,500 based on similar houses cost at the time. Adjusted for inflation, that's about $135,000 today. Due to General Order Number 11, the Warnells moved out of the house for a short time in 1863. They moved back in 1864, and a few months later, the Battle of Westport required the use of their house as a field hospital for both sides. In 1865, the Warnells had to move once again, this time because of threats from suspected bushwhackers. They moved downtown to a house on 9th and Main, and Eliza died shortly after. John did not move back into the house until 1864, eight years after he and Roma, his third wife, were married. John passed away in 1892, and the house became the responsibility of Roma. Roma actually sold the house in 1909 to J.C. Nichols, a major real estate developer in Kansas City. Nichols used the former farmland to expand Kansas City southward, adding to the Country Club District. The house and an acre of land became the Country Day School of Kansas City. Headmaster Ralph Hoffman, a Harvard graduate, started the school for boys 14 years and younger. Eventually, the school outgrew the house and became the Pembroke Hill Country Day School, just a few miles away. Two years after selling it, Roma bought the house back, thanks to a provision she added when she sold the house. She would be the first pick to buy it back, and in 1911 she returned, ready to move the house into the modern era. Electricity and plumbing became available for the old homestead thanks to extensive development in the area. The transformation from farmland to residential brought advantages. Roma likely would not have moved back if these amenities were not available. The house underwent significant renovations, adding electricity, plumbing, and central heating. Warnell family members lived in the house until 1964. Almost 100 years of Warnells lived in the house. The Jackson County Historical Society purchased it that year, and over a period of eight years, renovated the house to look like it would have during John's lifetime. In a 1965 interview with the Kansas City Star, Chairman of the Restoration Committee, W. Howard Adams, said, The restoration and maintenance of the Warnell home is important, not only because it is a classic example of antebellum architecture, but because it is so richly steeped in Kansas City history. In its beautiful setting, it will stand as a three-dimensional symbol of our heritage and provide a tangible link to the past.